All right, so we want to figure out which one of these fractions is larger, 5 eighths or 1 half, and here's how you could do it. First off, you could just divide 5 by 8 on your calculator, then divide 1 by 2 on your calculator, and just compare the decimals. That would work. Probably what your teacher wants you to do, though, is to get a common denominator. Right now we have 8 and 2. But if we had a common denominator, then we just compare the numerators, and we'll know which fraction is greater, 5 eighths or 1 half. So 2 goes into 8 4 times. So I'm going to multiply 2 times 4, because that'll give me 8, like this. I already have 8 up here in the denominator, so I'm just going to keep this as 5 eighths. And then down here, because I multiplied the denominator by 4, I need to multiply the numerator by 4 as well. It's because 4 over 4, that equals 1. Just dividing by 1 doesn't change anything. 1 times 4 is 4, and 4 eighths, that's the same value as 1 half. But now we have these denominators, they're the same. So we can compare the numerators, figure out which one of these fractions is greater. So 5, that is larger than 4, so 5 eighths is larger than 4 eighths, and since 4 eighths and 1 half are the same, 5 eighths here is larger than 1 half. So that's it. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.